what I've heard about them as a couple is that they've been living separate lives for a very long time. So they together, but they live in separate. So it looks like the rumors about Beyonce leaving Jay-Z are true after all, because word on the street is she just separated all of her assets from his and left that man for dust. Now, as most of y'all already know, there have been some rumors going around for years now that their marriage is nothing but a business transaction that was orchestrated between Jay and Beyonce's father, Matthew Knowles. It was claimed that their relationship was strategically made to raise both of them into greater realms of superstardom. However, now that Jay-Z is being sucked into this whole mess with Diddy, he also faces the possibility of going to jail. Beyonce is working overtime to make sure she ain't going down with him. She's already started putting things into place to separate her assets and her entire brand from his before the truth starts to come out. So they together, but they live in separate. And part of the reason why they have or they're already living separate lives and we may actually see one of the biggest divorces in Hollywood is because Jay-Z is up next to be exposed. And it's only so much of these stories that Jay-Z can, you know, he can pay off or he can block. He won't be able to stop this. And she knows it and he knows it too. Um, as far as who's going to be the breakout victim slash story, I, I, don't, I don't know. Now, for those of y'all confused about where these divorce rumors are even coming from, well, it started right after it was revealed that there was some powerful people in the industry who helped Diddy to get away with his raging SA addiction and the person to come up in a lot of people's minds as Diddy's potential partner in all this mess was Jay-Z. This is because they've been cutting it up together for years now and were spotted at literally every industry event together. Now this is where things get even more interesting because apparently Beyonce was blindsided about a lot of the shady dealings that Jay has been having with Diddy. And that's why she wanted to get away from him before he's finally exposed. Not only that, but people have began to question the dynamic of JMB's marriage because she was just 18 when they met and he was pushing 30. People also found some receipts that proved that Jay was dating Foxy Brown when she was just 15 years old with the promise of making her successful in Hollywood. You know, real similar to what Diddy did to Cassie when she was just 19. After the powers that be, the PTB, the industry, whatever you want to call them, once they're done with Diddy, right? And um, this is going to be going on for some time. But once, I guess you can say the public humiliation, basically after the major documentaries come out, right? After they are done with Diddy, Jay-Z is up next to be exposed, right? Jay-Z, over the course of his career, and I have to still say allegedly, has done things and allegedly participated in a lot of things that the public would not be happy to know. For some reason, y'all like to conveniently forget what age Foxy Brown was when he was with her. Um, y'all like to forget that he was rolling with R. Kelly and they was doing a lot of things together. Y'all like to forget a lot of that, right? Um, but good PR, good marketing, and the fact that, you know, Jay-Z got a lot of this industry on lock. So he's able to keep a lot of things hush hush. He's very powerful and Beyonce is too, but they are still black. And this industry is not <laughs> the people that run it they are not okay let's not forget about how beyonce's alleged ex bodyguard also came out a few months ago and revealed that jay-z controls beyonce beyonce's on drugs she's been on them for a long time and you keep her that way According to several insiders, their marriage wasn't even real in the first place. Jay needed a successful female artist by his side so he could transition into his mogul era. And Beyonce also needed a powerful industry man by her side so she could enter into the spaces that she wasn't accepted in by herself. So her dad and Jay struck a deal and Beyonce was handed over to Jay. This explains why her parents never got in between their relationship despite the huge age gap between them. 
them. They were in on it the whole time. Anyway, back to Beyonce leaving Jay, there have been rumors that this is why she's been pushing out all her projects so fast. She wants to make sure she rakes in as much money as possible before everything about Jay's shady dealings with Diddy come out. This was actually confirmed by blogger Storm Monroe, who said that Beyonce is well aware of what's about to go down and that's why she's pushing everything out so quickly. I mean, she just finished her Renaissance World Tour not too long ago. And since then, she's released a movie, a hair care line, and even released a whole new album. I don't know about y'all, but it's unlike Beyonce to push this many projects in such a short amount of time. Unless she knows something is coming that could possibly destroy the influence that she has on people. And part of the reason why they have or they're already living separate lives and we may actually see one of the biggest divorces in Hollywood is because Jay-Z is up next to be exposed. And it's only so much of these stories that Jay-Z can, you know, he can pay off or he can block. He won't be able to stop this. And she knows it and he knows it too. Um, as far as who's going to be the breakout victim slash story, I, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, I might have to ask Jason Lee. I don't know. But I'm just letting you know that once that comes out and Jay-Z is exposed for his nefarious past, you're going to see Beyonce divorce him. Okay? And she's going to, she may or may not do an interview, but you may, you, you're going to, um, their publicist is going to release something. She's going to say, oh, the Carters have been separated for some time. They built this beautiful life, blah, 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 blah. Now, before all this happens, we may get another tour. We may get another album out of both of them. I don't know, because at the end of the day, they bought their money first. They're going to do what's best for business first. Um, as far as Beyonce is concerned, do she love him? I mean, he's really all that she knows. She was ready to leave him years ago, but the industry is it's just it's different. And I don't want to say it's an Illuminati contract, because I don't know how the Illuminati get down. I really don't know. And I'm not going to lie to you and say I do. But essentially, she's been stuck. Now, when it comes to Jay-Z, it isn't only his bizarre relationship with underage girls, as people giving him the side eye. It's also now being reported that he's actually one of the people helping Diddy get away with all his activities. Apparently, the raid that was recently done at Diddy's house wasn't only because of the allegations from the multiple lawsuits he's involved in right now. The feds have actually been keeping an eye on both Diddy and Jay for years now. What made them actually start keeping tabs on Diddy was when he was accused of sleeping with underage boys back in 2013. According to a U.S. District Court filing, James Roseman, the music manager turned coke kingpin, was reportedly questioned about the sexual preferences of entertainers, including whether Sean Diddy Combs was having sex relationships with underage boys. Roseman continued, then asked about entertainers' sexual preferences, including, but not only, Sean Combs having relationships with underage boys. Mind you, this was all the way back in 2013, when none of us barely knew the kind of things that Diddy was getting down with. And considering the fact that they've been looking into this for so long, there's a very high chance that they've collected some dirt on Jay as well, and are just waiting on the right time to hit him with it. Beyonce is well aware of this, and that's why she's already started to separate her assets from his. In fact, she recently showed up to the iHeart Music Awards to collect her award for most innovative artists of the year, and Jay was nowhere in sight. She brought her kids along with her, but made sure Jay was not there, because she's starting to publicly distance herself from him. Now, as usual, people had their own two cents to give on this whole situation, like this person who said, she's not innocent herself, and divorcing him now can't stop her karma. Ain't no way she's been with this man for two decades and hasn't known anything he's done or haven't participated in something. In Holly Weird, you have to do some crazy things to stay protected and successful and supported in the industry. And they've both been that for years. So now you get what's rightfully coming to you. Another person said, game over. She's done too. Complicit and guilty by association. She knew exactly what was going on, but chose to turn a blind eye for the lifestyle it afforded. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Beyonce leaving Jay-Z? And do y'all think she's as innocent as she's trying to make us think she is. Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.